Hello everyone, welcome to my humble little office in my home. Uh, I read uh, Meditations Daily, it's this little meditation booklet here, Meditations Daily Devotionals, and I was reading it today and it really struck me that as you look around the world today, there's so many people that are frightened, they're, they're in fear of all the things that are going around them. And this meditation offered me some peace this morning and I thought maybe I'd share it with you and see if it offers you some peace as well. It's from, based on the book of Romans. It says, what then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 31. The title is, who can be against us? The book of Romans, to this climactic point, has laid all of God's grace cards on the table. Just think of what he has already done for you. He's given you life through faith, Romans 1.17. He's freely forgiven you all your sins, verses 3.24. He's made you peace with the Father for you, 5.1. He's given you hope for something better than this world, 8.18. He's known you, predestined you, called you, justified you, and glorified you, Romans 8.30. So Paul is asking, if the all-powerful God has already done all of that for us, who can do anything against us? Wow! The king, the judge, the warrior, he's on your side. And yet, are you the one who quickly forgets that God has moved heaven and earth to act for you? As soon as you put this devotion down and start watching the news, will you remember these things? As soon as you shift your attention away from God to the reality of your daily life, will you imagine enemies that are bigger than your champion? Friend, there's something so powerful about the answer to the question, if God is for us, who can be against us? Nobody. Nothing. Nada. No daily news outlet can plunge you into hell. No enemy can position himself to take away your soul. No demon can devour you. How can you be sure? Because God gives you that promise through his question, if I'm for you, then who can be against you? With all the evil forces of this world wishing to do you harm, the Bible promises that you will be attacked with all their ferocity, and yet not one of them can defeat you because God is with you. Your God has already defeated them and gained life, innocence, peace, hope, purpose, and glory for you. Please keep that in mind as you go about your day and you feel like you are under attack, you feel hopeless, you might feel in despair. Reach out to others, pray to the Lord. God is for you. Let's pray. Lord God, my champion, give daily rest to my restless soul, knowing that you have already won the victory for me. Amen. And if you enjoyed this little time with me and you'd like me to read some more meditations on a daily basis or just every once in a while, just please leave a comment and let me know. Thank you so much and have a great day.